Right now, the COVID-19 vaccines are available to millions of Americans, and soon they will be available to everyone. This vaccine means hope. It will protect you and those you love from this dangerous and deadly disease. I want to go back to work and I want to be able to move around. To visit with Michelle's mom, to hug her and see her on her birthday. You know what I'm really looking forward to is going to opening day in Texas Rangers Stadium with a full stadium. We've lost enough people and we've suffered enough damage. In order to get rid of this pandemic, it's important for our fellow citizens to get vaccinated. I'm getting vaccinated because we want this pandemic to end as soon as possible. So we urge you to get vaccinated when it's available to you. So roll up your sleeve and do your part. This is our shot. Now it's up to you. Our fellow Americans. Right now, the COVID-19 vaccines are available to millions of Americans. And soon, they will be available to everyone. The science is clear. These vaccines will protect you and those you love from this dangerous and deadly disease. They could save your life. So we urge you to get vaccinated when it's available to you. That's the first step to ending the pandemic and moving our country forward. It's up to you. It's vaccination day. It's vaccination day. It's vaccination day. Appointments are open. I'm group four. I don't have to stay here anymore. I'm sick of eating takeout on these plates. The time indoors has got me stressed, but I just checked on CVS. Finally, they're giving me some dates. I'll see actual real life people. It'll be totally strange. I might even get to go see a game. For the first time in forever, I'll hang out with someone else. Love you. But for the first time in You don't like sports, you know. I could go to a bar with buddies. You're the best. I don't have to live in fear. Love you for the first time in forever. I won't be right here. Guys, I'm really proud of you in quarantine. Kids, you've worked really hard. And honey, I think our relationship's gotten a lot tighter now that we've been in closer space. I gotta get on a plane now. Bye. I'll sit in a seat that cramps my knees. And I won't care because at least I'm free. But then I'm going to an indoor play. I'll be that guy who shows the bar my brand new vaccination card. And then I'll shove some Suki in my face. Yeah, I know it'll take like six weeks until I am totally immune. But I am getting out of here real soon. For the first time in forever, I can see my dad. It's scary, but in like 40 days, for the first time in forever, I think I'll be okay. Knock, knock. Kim, I heard you got your vaccine. Where are you? Oh, there you are. Don't let them in. You want tacos? Don't let them see. Tacos, she actually didn't mind this quarantine. Let's just drive around and talk. Conceal, Kim. don't feel, Come on. put on a show, she actually doesn't want to go, but she can't always be here, she can't always be here, she cannot live in fear, she cannot live in fear, she may actually put on a Brazil.
Your family. It's like they hug your family. Feeling so really. Oh, yeah, so really no lockdowns. Down. We're free. The vaccine.
Uh, the first one, wow. Um, I think it was at the library. The 1996 Olympics? Nicole Greenbaum's bar mitzvah. Yeah, I didn't know what I was supposed to do with it. Well, when you get it, it's kind of on your mind nonstop, you know? I remember really wanting to get mine for the first time. And when I finally did, I was so happy. Definitely get them multiple times a day. I'd say more than six. I don't remember every single one of them, but they're all special in their own way. Walking the street in a meeting. On my commute. Giving a presentation for a class. Oh, I got one at a can of fair once. I guess you could say they're a pretty big part of my life. Actually, it's the only thing I give a damn about. Nowadays, when I get one, I try to hang on to it as long as possible. It's an extension of myself. There's honestly nothing quite like them. If I couldn't have one, it would be devastating and kind of boring. Men who have had COVID are six times more likely to develop erectile dysfunction. I'm sorry, what? Six times more likely. That's correct. What are you guys doing? Go get the vaccine. We're talking about your future boners here, okay? I mean, I would cut off my own dick to protect my future boners. Okay, as I think about it, it doesn't make sense logically to cut off my own dick to save my future dick. But you know what I'm saying. It's just important. It's actually pretty simple. Get vaccinated, guys. Do it for your penis. Trust us. We're penis doctors. Listen to the doctors. These are penis doctors, not just your normal doctors. These are doctors of the penis. They went to a penis college where they studied everything that there is to know about your penis. It was a cold winter's eve and someone very special was carefully checking their Christmas list for things they still needed to do. After one too many mince pies, he slowly gets out of his chair, then quickly hurries to the local vaccination centre somewhere in, um, South London, where he finds a sack full of centres from all around the world, waiting for exactly the same thing. How convenient. And who might be administering the vaccines, I wonder? Well, it's none other than Dr. Hillary, the celebrity doctor from the TV. Splendid. It was all over faster than you can say Rudolph, and Santa didn't feel a thing. Now that it's done, Santa can finally cross it off his list and get on with the important things this Christmas, like spreading joy, and delivering all the presents. <laughs> Boost your immunity this winter with the flu and COVID-19 vaccines. Well, kids, I'm just doing my yearly call to the North Pole for Santa's holiday health check. <laughs> Oh. Why, hello, Dr. Tan. Mrs. Claus, so good to see you again. Where did Santa go? Oh, Santa was late for snow yoga with the elves and reindeer. He says it's great cross-training for sleigh driving. Sounds fun. Are you all set for the holiday season? Of course. I, I must say, Dr. Tam, it just warms my heart to see everyone in Canada, especially kids, working so hard to keep the holidays safe and cheerful for all. So am I, Mrs. Claus. Every child in Canada has definitely earned a place on the nice list. Their parents and caregivers, too. It's been a tough season with lots of viruses making people sick. Thankfully, Santa and I are feeling as healthy as ever. We are both up to date with our vaccinations, including COVID boosters and flu shots. That's so good to hear. I always tell Santa to make a list and check it twice. One, stay up to date on your vaccinations. Two, wear a mask in crowded indoor places and make sure it fits nice and snug. Three, 
Wash your hands to the tune of jingle bells, jingle bells, jingle all the way. Great advice. Great voice too. Also, you can be sure to stay at home if you're feeling sick. And if you're gathering indoors with other people or elves, open a door or a window with for a few minutes at a time to let in some fresh air. The more items you check off the list, the more protected you are. Yes, you can think of it like decorating a tree. You need tinsel, lights, ornaments, and the star on top. The tree is at its best when all the decorations are up and nicely layered. Thanks, Mrs. Claus. Happy holidays, everyone. Will Santa still be able to visit me in coronavirus season? What if he can't go to anyone's house or near his reindeer? Well, I have to say I took care of that for you because I was worried that you'd all be upset. So what I did a little while ago, I took a trip up there to the North Pole. I went there and I vaccinated Santa Claus myself. I measured his level of immunity and he is good to go. He can come down the chimney. He can leave the presents. He can leave and you have nothing to worry about. Santa Claus is good to go. Now Daddy has super duper bandages just like Elmo. <laughs> <laughs> you were super duper today getting your COVID vaccine, Elmo. Yeah, there was a little pinch, but it was okay. Elmo was really glad to have Daddy and baby David there with him. Baby David, um, where are you? Huh? I had a lot of questions about Elmo getting the COVID vaccine. Was it safe? Was it the right decision? I talked to our pediatrician so I could make the right choice. <laughs> I learned that Elmo getting vaccinated is the best way to keep himself, our friends, neighbors, and everyone else healthy and enjoying the things they love. Oh, Daddy, mm -hmm. oh, Elmo and baby David have a question. Oh. Can we have a hug? Oh, come here, <laughs> son. Oh, Elmo loves you, Daddy. I love you, too. How is my little birdie kins feeling? Well, I feel okay. Uh, my wing hurts a little bit, but that's okay. And, uh, and look, Radar's feeling okay, too. Look, he, he's got a little Band-Aid and a little smiley face. Now, your wing may hurt for a day or two, Big Bird, and you might feel a bit tired, but... You both did great. Mm. I made the decision to get Big Bird vaccinated because COVID vaccines are the best way to keep yourself, mm. our friends and neighbors, and me safe and healthy. Talk to your health care providers about the vaccine for your kids. The vaccine is going to help my bird and all the kids out there stay safe and healthy. Yeah, and it'll help me keep playing with my granny bird and all my friends at school. Yeah. It's okay to have questions about COVID vaccines for your kids. Get the latest facts by speaking to your pediatrician or healthcare provider. Getting ready to fight COVID. All of us want to be superheroes. And the most important heroes are those that help others. This year, thousands of kids like us around the world joined the COVID-19 vaccine trial. Kid power. And when they did, they became all superheroes. Ah! To all the kids who volunteered, we'd like to say... Thank you! Thank you! Thank you for sharing your superpowers of... Courage. Trying new things. The ability to save people. The power to help people. Helping not just um, yourself, but many other kids. To not be scared. Be strong. Super brave. Bravery and courage. A superhero shot. Helping everybody. Fight coronavirus and help others. You're helping the whole entire world. Thank you. You are all superheroes. Thank you. Thank, Thank you, you, superheroes. Thank you. You're awesome. Children love dressing up as superheroes. Now they can be vaccine heroes. Vaccination is the best way to protect against COVID-19 and save lives. Be a vaccine hero. Get vaccinated.
For more information about COVID-19 vaccines for children, visit nyc.gov slash COVID vaccine or call 212-COVID-19. If you are getting the vaccine at the Dome Arena in Henrietta, you'll likely receive a sticker made by Zachary Magavaro of Geneseo. Zachary is on the autism spectrum and he has long turned heads for his amazing talents. Tonight, he delivered a knockout performance. You might call April 22nd Zachary Mogavaro's encore appearance at the state vaccine hub in Henrietta. He came here twice to get his COVID shots. Then he came back with a gift. Dr. Fauci, give us vaccines. Help all the people who have been quarantined. We'll Not only did Zachary write a song about the COVID-19 vaccine, we'll he drew a poster we'll urging others to get the shot too. It really is an honor to have you join us, Zach, and, and help us end this pandemic. Let's help end this pandemic by giving out vaccines to everyone. The New York Department of Health was so moved by Zachary's gesture, they had the poster made into stickers to hand out to people who get vaccinated. I'm thrilled for him. And, uh, you know, it just underscores what kids on the spectrum can do. I got excited, very excited to see all of this. As his family was celebrating, the hub was marking a milestone. In 93 days, it's vaccinated 175,000 people. Fauci. Including yes. Zachary. Promise us, please. We'll have a cure that can fight off this disease. Restrictions will lift with some ease. Dr. Fauci, don't forget me. Like so many kids, during the pandemic, Zachary's been impacted by COVID-19, not just by the dramatic change in routine brought on by lockdowns. Both Zachary's parents got the virus and the entire family had to quarantine. He spent a lot of time creating art, like this beautiful sticker. And next year, by the way, he will be a senior, but says after that, he thinks he may go to RIT. Zachary, we're rooting for you. When you get your vaccine over this next few days, we're going to get you with a free Shack Burger card every time you get your vaccine. Even better than that, our 25 Shacks around New York City. Anytime you go for the next month, you're there you're grabbing your burger, your chicken sandwich, show us your vaccine card. We'll get you a free fries on us to say thank you. We are so excited. We love this city. We live here too. And we're going to get back. Get your vax, get your shack, and let's gather up as a community again. Um, the Shake Shack team is here for you in New York. We'll see you soon all around New York City and Shack. Thank you so much, Randy. Thank you to the whole Shake Shack team. This is really going to help us out. And did you say free fries when you get vaccinated? Um, I got vaccinated. You're saying I could get this? These delicious fries? Right, Matt. But there's also a, a burger element to this. Let me let me check with Bill Needhart. Is it too early in the day to eat a burger? Right, no. This can be breakfast. Okay. I want you to look at this and think about. Again, some people love hamburgers, some don't. Really want to respect all ways of life. But if this is appealing to you, just think of this when you think of vaccination. Mmm. Vaccination. Mmm. <laughs> I'm getting a very good feeling about vaccination right this moment. Thank you to Randy Garuti and, of course, Danny Meyer, who's doing so much to help us with the recovery and the entire team. Washington state residents who have yet to roll up their sleeves for a COVID-19 vaccine could soon be rolling up a free joint thanks to the state's newest vaccine incentive. It's the latest spin on similar freebies popping up around the country. The cannabis industry had been asking to do the same. And in our discussions, we decided that we could find a way to be able to make that happen. But there is a catch. The government is requiring participants get the shot on site before receiving any free weed, instead of simply showing proof of vaccination. 
This means that pot shops in Washington are scrambling to find qualified health care workers to administer the vaccine. I think many people are going to be interested in this. Yeah, it's Washington State. <laughs> yes. Now, on top of all that, the program is slated to end on July 12th, leaving little time for shops to set up an on-site clinic and a narrow window for the stores to offer visitors their second dose. So far, the incentive appears to be off to a slow start. Only a few dispensaries have formally asked the state about the program, and as of June 8th, no stores were known to be participating. Other cities are trying out this idea, too. Joints for jabs tables have been spotted in a less official capacity in both New York City and Washington, D.C. A program out of one shop in Michigan also saw some success earlier this year. The owner says since then, he's handed out more than $30,000 worth of those pre-rolled joints. An Arizona dispensary also unveiled Snacks for Vax that gives the newly vaccinated an edible gummy and a pre-rolled joint. What's different about Washington's giveaway is that it's set up at the state level, but some critics see these bureaucratic barriers as confirmation that these incentive programs are falling flat. Still, many argue that every vaccine helps. I definitely think it will always be worth the effort being able to get as many people vaccinated. And, you know, if we can incentivize people to do that with a free joint, then, and, you know, if it's only a couple people who come out, then I think we did our part. I've been into fashion since I can remember. But one day, I had a stomach ache so bad, I didn't want to do anything. The team at New York Presbyterian said it was actually my heart. It was severely swollen, something called myocarditis. But doctors gave me medicines and used machines to control my heartbeat. They saved me. So now I can become the next great fashion designer. Your defense and I will always fight 